Welcome back to Projects with Everyday Dave. Today we're talking about the very exciting topic of getting a permit for your solar array. I'm going to show you what I did to get my permit and we'll talk about some tips on how you can be successful in getting approved the first time you apply. So stick around. Let's check it out. Most of you will be doing a grid tie array, and that's where you connect your solar system directly to the utility company. And when you're overproducing, it goes to the utility company, and when you aren't producing enough, then it goes back to your house. In that case, you need two permits or two applications. One is to the utility company to connect your production to their lines. The other permit you need is a building permit. Now, I recommend that you make two phone calls. The first phone call is to your utility company. You need to make sure that they allow you to connect to the grid. Talk to the engineer and understand what their requirements are. You can sit down, explain to them the type of system you're putting in, whether it's a roof system or a ground system, and the size and your goals and they can tell you what the requirements are for that particular utility company. You should also understand what the rules are for overproduction. If you produce more than you need, is it net metered over the month? Meaning whatever you overproduce in a day and consume the next day, is that averaged out over the period of a month? Uh, I, I know in some cases there's utilities that will net meter for an entire year. So if you produce more than you need in the summer, you can consume it in the winter. Um, that would be really fantastic. Mine is by the month. And if in the period of a month I overproduce for the entire month, then they will pay me for that overproduction. But it's at a very low rate. It's only four cents per kilowatt hour. And, and that's why I try not to overproduce because it takes longer to pay off my array. So you need to sit down with them and understand what their requirements are so that when you do your installation, you will meet their needs. The second phone call you need to make is to your building inspector. I recommend sitting down with the inspector, understanding what they need to check. Do they need to check the holes if you're digging a, uh, if you're putting posts in the ground for a ground-based array, uh, if you're trenching, to put wires underground, they may need to inspect the depth of the trench. They will have to check uh, various stickers and wiring configurations. They will need to have a uh, engineering assessment of the structure of your roof, if you're gonna put it on the roof. There's all kinds of things that um, might be very specific to your county. So I recommend just making a phone call, sitting down, telling them what you wanna do, and understanding exactly what it is they're gonna require of you and need to inspect. By making those two phone calls and understanding the needs of those two organizations, you will be able to get it installed and inspected and approved quickly and efficiently. So let's take a look at what I did for mine. I'll show you the documents that I had to generate and uh, some of the details that I had to put into my applications. And that way you'll have an example when you go to do yours to reference. So let's take a look at those documents. This is the list I was given from the county of things that I would need. I needed a permit application, site plan showing the location of the proposed solar panels, electrical drawings detailing the complete system, foundation drawings, cut sheets of all the electrical equipment, and the serving electric utility. So I started with a title page that just outlined some of the key pieces of information. Uh, it's a grid tie system. I put in the electric company, the size, how many panels there were, this, the uh, wattage of the panels, the style, which in this case was ground-based. For racking, I put in the angle and that it was a ground screw type racking system. Then I filed for the application. It was a pretty simple application for a building permit. I just had to put in that it was a solar array, ground-based solar array. It's kind of in the other category and fill out the details they needed and submit that with the rest of the documents. For, for the site plan, I just took a Google Earth view. I put where my leach field is because that was relevant. I put in the size of my array, where it would be located, the distance from the building so we knew how long the run would be, 
where the utilities were in the building, where I was going to put the DC AC inverter, and where the meter service panel disconnect would be. I put some key dimensions on the top so that that information would be available. I also put in an image of the location for the disconnect next to the meter panel and where the actual breaker would be installed for tying into the grid. For electrical drawings, I needed to include a system that showed the strings. I have two strings, 12 connected to one home run and 12 connected to another home run. The diagram shows the inverter and then from the inverter to the disconnect and then from the disconnect to the service panel. Because I went with a package deal from Unbound Solar, they included this electrical diagram for me in my package, which made it very easy. I didn't even have to draw this up. For the foundation drawings, because I was using Ready Rack for my racking system, they provide a set of engineer stamp drawings. So I just included that. It has detailed pages for the assembly, the structure, and everything that's required for the county. There's quite a few pages. I didn't include them all here, but just uh, a couple here for reference. Then I needed a cut sheet of all the associated electrical equipment. I downloaded the specifications for my solar panels from Mission Solar's website, including the electrical detail sheet. I downloaded the power optimizer information from Solar Edge with the specifications and the Solar Edge inverter with its specifications. I also had to get a zoning permit, so I had that application and I applied for that. It was required for my township. And then, of course, there's the application for the utility. I went to their website, I talked to the engineers there as I recommended. I just had to fill out this sheet and pay their um, engineering fee and they told me everything that I needed in order to be successful with their connection. So here is a total fee list and cost for the utility company engineering fee it was $100, the zoning permit was $100, the building permit was $25, the electrical fee was $71, the plan review was $40, because I was using screws with the ready rack system, I didn't need a footer inspection, so I saved that cost. So my total fees for permitting and applications was $336. Once I submitted for all those, I was successful in getting a permit from the county to go ahead and start the uh, building process, and that's all it took. Hopefully this has been a helpful tutorial in what you need to get your permits and applications for your DIY solar array. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll leave some links to some other helpful videos that will help you be successful in putting in your DIY solar array. Thanks for joining.